Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I did a mini elf haul and so I found some great products and some uh, 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 don't want to purchase them ever again. So I did try to do um, this makeup look using mostly elf products. There was um, some gems that I found and then there was some probably don't want to repeat and actually may have ended up in the trash can. Mm. So if you want to see how I created this cool toned eye look with a nude lip and see what I purchased through e.l.f. and what made it to stay in this beauty room or what made it to the trash, stay tuned. So I just used the e.l.f. contour palette here, which was um, had some good pigment, very dark for my skin. Um, and then I picked it up with the e.l.f. and this color is in Blushing Rose. Um, I think my camera went out, so it's kind of starting over. Um, the e.l.f., I use this duo-sided lippy, and this is called Need It in Nudes. And these colors are beautiful, so that's what I've got on my lip right now. And, oh my gosh, they are so creamy. Like, off-the-hook creamy. So, really, really like those. Now we're going to go to the e.l.f. This one is the Illuminating Palette, so let's see how that illuminates. We are going to try this little color here. So the Illuminating Palette, it doesn't have a... I'm going to switch and try this lighter one next to it. Okay, so the illuminating palette that I just used is um, does give a very soft, subtle illuminating color. So if you like something soft and subtle versus in your face, this could be better for the day versus a stronger pigmented illuminating palette. So this little guy is nice because you can take it with you wherever you travel. Okay, so we're going to see how the baked eyeshadow palette works and we have this one is it's got some lovely purples in it but i'm going to mix it up a bit and go back to the contour palette because the contour palette actually has this peachy color here and this lighter color that i want to try as a base for the eye so we're actually going to start with this yellowish color and mix it with a little bit of the lighter color Now I'm going to take the same fluffy brush and use this peachy contour color and get this kind of set for the transition color and um, the outer V. Since we're going to use those bright purples and pinkish colors, I want to ground it with some neutrals and this contour palette has some great light neutrals. Our contour palette's doing double duty today. I actually like that contour palette as an eyeshadow. That's kind of pretty. I think I'm going to take this purpley color here right in the center and it doesn't have a name so we'll just have to go with center purple. I'm going to put that on the inner corner here. Basically the inner third of the eye crease. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to step it up for the middle third of the eye crease and we're going to go with the slightly darker purple. And as you can see I'm just working this in the middle of that eye crease. Okay, so I just took a little lunch break in the middle because the hubs made me some lunch. And as you can see, the lip 
came off a little bit from that dual sided lip. In fact, you can see it on my Diet Coke can. So if you want a full stay proof lipstick, this one isn't going to stay. However, it's super creamy. Okay, so now we're going to go back to my eyes. Sorry, I had to take a little break there. Um, when the hubs cooks and says there's lunch ready, I go running. Okay, so we're started with a light purple. We went to a darker, and now we're going to go into this darker one. And again, I'm using all the same, all the same, the same brush. And it's a Morphe R37. So now we're going to go in the la last third of the eye with the darkest purple. And this color needs to be, it feels like it needs to be built up where the other ones went on a little bit easier. And we're gonna take a pencil brush and basically do everything that I just did on the top to the bottom. So we're gonna start with this orchid color purple or the middle purple as I said earlier. And we'll put that on the inner third. Then we'll go with the medium purple. And we'll put that right in the center. The center third. And we're going to take the dark purple here. And we're going to use that as the last third and move that into the outer V. We're going to go back with our little fluffy brush and just kind of work those two together. I'm going to use some Tarte Shape Tape and clean up this little outer edge here so it can be prettier. Okay, so we cleaned up the a um, little bit around the edge of the eye, and I'm going to go ahead and take the Makeup Geek and Obsidian and tight line along and do the waterline. So I've not tried any of Elf's eyeliners, liquid eyeliners. Um, my eyes have a damnedest time with liquid eyeliner so we're going to see how the elf one does elf expert liquid liner it's got a little brush hmm. okay so that went on really nice in fact whoop, already messed up so where's my trusty okay i'm kind of impressed because it's easy to use I don't know why I haven't used this yet. Well, I hadn't planned on doing the wing, but since this is so easy to use, I'm doing a little baby wing. Kind of crazy, but this hasn't moved on me yet and I'm used to way expensive ones moving. Kind of strange. Okay, we're going to keep going because this is just e.l.f. stay. Alright, so I've never tried e.l.f. volume plumping mascara.
Um, my initial impression on the e.l.f. volume plumping. I'm going to go back to my Lash Sensational. That little one, that, that was not volume. That was D-volume. Okay, so this is kind of the finale. I just used um, a lot of the e.l.f. products that I bought today, but I also want to do some swatches to see how those work on some of the other products. Um, as far as this purpley eye look, I did enjoy using this. Um, I can't wait to try maybe another look with the silvers and um, even adding a little bit of the black in it. So as far as this little e.l.f. palette goes, I liked it um, if you like a bright purple. Okay, so as a wrap up, we use the contour palette. Um, I use the, the I use the contour for contour, and then I use these as um, transition eyeshadows because I like the colors and thought they would look good with the purple. Um, I did use the Elf blusher blusher and blushing rose highly pigmented holy mackerel had to um actually blend that down with some powder because it packed a punch um did try the illuminating palette from elf it gives a soft illumination not anything over the top um it's kind of a whisper so let's see what other elf kind of products i used okay so We've already talked about this dual ended lippy, and this one is Neat at Nudes. I like it, it's creamy, but it comes off. So get your straws ready. Um, let's look at some of the other e.l.f. products. So this little expert liquid liner was an absolute fun. This might be my favorite. I have tried all kinds of expensive liquid liners and um, they travel in my creases. The fun part about getting old. Um, and I have eyes that water, so they tend to run before um, my eye it ever dries out. This little guy actually helped me create um, a little baby wing. I don't get wings very often because the liquid liners don't work on me. You need this. You need this in your life. And now I need to go back online and see how many other colors do they have. Because this is worth this whole e.l.f. haul. Okay, so what else do we have? Um, we have some other lip colors that I just thought would be fun to try. So this one is a warm peach color. And this is called Cheeky. For that alone, you need it for the name. Um, just a nice, pretty golden, not golden, um, roasted peach. How many of you guys roast peaches? Probably no one. It doesn't make sense. Sorry. Okay, so in that next type, I bought dark brown. Um, that just looked edible to me. And that does have a nice, pretty, dark brown look. And I do love the 90s with the browns. Sometimes you just can't get out of a, a decade. What can I say? Okay. Um, let's see. Those were the black square ones. Now we're going to go to this line here. And this is the satin lipstick. It's called Beautifully Bare, and this is a touch of blush. So a nice, pretty rose color. And so far, those all feel about as creamy as the one that I just put on. So for winter, not bad. Okay, this one is called A Touch of Pink, and so we will see how that does. So kind of a pretty color. I really liked all the, the variety of the colors. Um, that was kind of fun picking these out. So this one is more of a nudie color and it's called Nostalgic. And that one is kind of a lighter peach, peachy nude. Very pretty. 
All right, so then I went to these kind of um, matte lip colors, and so I got four of those. So we're going to swatch the four now. Um, we'll start with this pinky, actually called T Rose. Uh oh, that can't be good. We were going to start with T Rose. Okay, we got a problem. Houston, we got a problem. Okay, that's not a good sign. If you know how to fix these, please leave that in the comment description below. Um, okay, I do like that. That is a pretty mauve color, and that's called Tea Rose. Hate that it was broke. Let's see if how the buddies did. All right, so now we have Praline. Okay. And Praline's actually a nice, pretty color also. Hmm. Then we have Cranberry. And cranberry it is. That is a nice, nice color there. Okay, and we're going to get into rich red. And this looks like a kind of true red. It goes on a little pinky. Most likely for my skin tone, that is not going to be good on my face because I do have a lot of red undertones. But if you do not have a lot of red undertones, this one called Rich Red would be very pretty. Okay, then we got a couple more to swatch. And this is the Elf Extra Lip Gloss. So I wanted to try a little bit of each of them. This one's called Michael. And the wand is a little wiggly. I don't think I like the wand. The color's kind of pretty. And I went for another nude, and this one's called Bitten Pink. So let's see how this one does. Oh, that seems kind of creamy. Ooh, that is kind of creamy. Very pretty. So those are all of the e.l.f. lip swatches. Um, as you can see, kind of a nice variety of color. Um, some peaches, some browns, some pinky colors, some mauves. Um, all of them seem to be cre very creamy. So now that I got those on my arm, we're going to do another swatch test. Let's see how they do. Okay, so each of the e.l.f. Um, ones that I tried and all the different flavors, so to speak, that they have or the different types, all will run. So if you're looking for a lipstick that has staying power, unfortunately none of the ones that I got from e.l.f. today have staying power. So now that I've done this kind of e.l.f. mini haul, I'm going to go back to saying for anything that I just tried, what was worth it was the e.l.f. Expert Lit Liquid Liner. And the worst thing I bought from them was the, it's in the trash can, the mascara. Whatever that, that was a liar face. There was no plumping. There was no, there was nothing. Um, I would not purchase that again. Actually, I only used it once and it ended up in the trash. So, but again, I found this and that was worth the whole purchase. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little mini haul tutorial etc um and the swatching because it was kind of fun to do to try a the elf and um see what kind of goodies i came out with as far as that goes <laughs> thank you so much for joining today i appreciate you taking the time with me as i looked at my little elf haul and saw what works what may not work and just some general fun um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend or both. Subscribe and refer me to a friend. I'll do both. I'll take both. Welcome to the club. Um, and as always, make it a beautiful day.